What's up, everybody? I'm doing a review of the HTC One SV for Boost Mobile. It's been about a week. Um, you know, I've been playing with the phone, st starting to like it, starting, you know, rethinking the phone. Uh, just doing a quick video of it. So hopefully you like. Uh, please enjoy. So let's get into the hardware. All right, the phone starts. It has a f uh, Super LCD 2 panel, uh, around a 4.3 inch screen. It has a 480. By 800 pixels, clocked at 217 with the PPI, which is you know pretty dense for a 4.3 inch screen. Um, it has a Gorilla Glass 2. Also has Beats Audio. Also, um, it can have it has a eight eight gigabyte of internal memory with one gigabyte of RAM. Also, it can hold up to 32 gigabytes in, of external memory. It has um, Bluetooth 4.0. Has NFC. Also has a 5 megapixel camera in the back. Clock that 1080p recording. Also has a 1.6 megapixel camera in the front. Shoots at 720p, 30 frames per second. You know, it has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, I think it's a Snapdragon. Don't hold your breath on it, but it should be a Snapdragon. Um, has a 1800 milliamp hour battery. Has uh, photo editing features, which I do like about the phone, and uh, got a lot of cool things. Also has a uh, cool thing about it. I noticed that when I got the phone, I first started, it has a Dropbox thing of 25 gigabytes of storage. So you got, let's say you got eight gigabytes of storage, then you got 25. I say you put a 32 gigabyte, so you at 40 gigabytes, and then you got 25 additional. You at 65 gigabytes of you know, storage overall with the internal, the external, and as well the cloud storage. That's a plus. You know, for it's it's awesome. Sixty five gigabytes of storage. You don't need no more storage after that for a cell phone. Download movies, download games, have music. The you know, the whole nine. You can you can do it all. You'll never run out of storage. You shouldn't run out of storage with sixty five gigs. You do, man. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um. So that's, you know, that's more of the, you know, the hardware, you know, little specs of the phone. But let's talk about what I do like about the phone. What I do like about the phone, it's easy to hold. Uh, for some, you know, they they made this phone feel real good with the, the curved edges. It, it feels thinner than it actually is. It has a curved edge right here. It tapers onto the side and it fits real good into the hand. It feels real good. And the build quality is 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 one of the best on a uh, prepaid cell phone that to date. You know, it's probably the best. I, I I can never say how much. You know, I'm going constantly keep on saying that how much I like. You know, holding the phone for the build quality. The build quality is 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 superior to all the other phones that's on Boost Mobile. It feels great, looks good, and it's eye popper. Um, you know. That's what I what I what I like about the phone and the build quality. Uh, let's talk about what I don't like about the phone. What I don't like about the phone is this thing right here. See this Beats Audio? You you're expecting to get loud, crisp noise coming from that speaker. You know that's what you think when you 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 hear things called Beats Audio, knowing that the headphones loud, good bass, real clear. You expect it to be something this quality. Nowhere near that quality. The speaker on the phone, the loudspeaker, excuse me, the loudspeaker is not good at all. Do not like the loudspeaker. The loudspeaker can be better, but it's not good. Don't like it. Never use this phone. If you want to use this phone for a speaker, don't use it. Forget about it. It's not going to work. Um, what I do like about it is the front-facing camera. 1.6. I know there's better for facing cameras, but for some reason, for this typical phone at $300, a 1.6 camera in the front, it's a go. It, it's real good. Like it. And also the front speaker. It's real good, real clear, real crisp. I like it. Maybe it's my unit, but I have my friend. He says he he just got it. He doesn't like the, the front speaker. I like it. No problem. Um, it also has a notification light right there. I, it, it's not bright. I hardly see it, but it works. It's there. But I never see the notifications when I get a text message or an email or something. I hardly see it. I got to constantly you know, look at my phone and look at the notification bar to see if I have any type of notification. This doesn't allow me. It doesn't help me from a distance. I can't see it. If it's on the edge, 
don't see it, don't like it. Um, what I do like about it is that it does have beats audio. And when you're listening to music or playing games or just anything that has to do with, with, with sound, it's loud, it's crisp, it, it does what it needs to do. Um, that's one thing I do like about it, you know. I really like that the fact that it, it does have, you know, the beats audio and it's like I said it's real loud. <clears throat> you know, I can I can make you live, hear something. I put put it on Wi Fi. Maybe you can catch a a tune or two and hear how loud it is through the head headset. And you know, it's partial that the headset's real loud as well. But the beats audio, I have, you know, a couple other phones and you know, connecting the phone to this this headset, it sounds good. It 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 complements each other. The headset and the head the headphone and the phone itself are just that's real good. That's what it's supposed to. Let's skip that. Uh, let's see. Hear that? Sounds great. Clear as day. I'd rather have this and this connected, and it sounds louder than. Coming from this. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Hit the camera. Yeah, man. Um, right. I have the headphones on to the phone. It sounds better. It's louder. It's more crisp than having the back speaker. Don't like the back speaker, but love that the fact that it has Beats Audio. When I plug in the headset, it sounds loud. It sounds clear. I really digging it. Um, it's one of the things I do like about it. And the battery life is probably one of the best batteries for a small. A compact phone. Normally, we have small compact phones, um, and then you got LT on board, and then you got you know bright, and then you play a game. It'll die quick. It doesn't die. Uh, I had the phone on standby. I uh, used it yesterday for a little bit, and then I used it today for a little bit. Um, I wasn't using the phone as my daily driver no more since you know I had my week already with it, and I still go back to it, and it's pretty loud. Let's go to the storage, uh, the battery. Go into the battery usage. It's on one day, six hours, eleven minutes, and fifty-two seconds on battery life, and it's at thirty-nine percent right now. That's great. Uh, like I said, almost two days already, and it's still clocking in and it's still going. That's great. Um, one of the things I, you know, that I didn't like about it that. The 4G LT is not everywhere. I can't get a connection. Um, I just heard in that, you know, I am in Philadelphia, so the 4G LT is, is coming and it's here. And some people are getting the 4G LT on Sprint, um, which is, you know, the same thing for Boost. I haven't seen the 4G LT yet. I've been around the city maybe more than once and I didn't get a connection of 4G LT. Um, somebody called me and we were talking and they got the 4G LT on their iPhone. On Sprint and is working. Me, not. Hopefully, it'll be coming in the next week or so. Maybe they building up more towers. I don't know, but I didn't get to see the 4G out, 4G out C yet. He did. I was, I'm most likely going to see him tonight and see if the data speed is real good or not. Um, he's telling me he got four gig, uh, twelve gigs up, and I think like nine or or, or, or eight down. Uh, not sure if that's correct information. He doesn't, you know, does the the speed test like that, but he said it was that numbers and, you know, sounds okay, but it should be better. It should be around 20 and 19 or, or 30, you know, you know, it's first fresh market. People's not on it right now. I don't know why he's not seeing uh, the fast speeds, but you know, 12 and, and, and nine should be good enough for a daily user, you know, do all your games and uh, watch YouTube right on that. Um, you know, the, the video is getting kind of long, so that's the first part of it. Um, please give me a like, subscribe. Um, it'll be a second part coming up soon. Let me know all the information or anything you want to know about the phone. I will make a, a, a video letting you know uh, about the phones. Also, comparisons to the Galaxy S2 and as well as the uh, ACC 4G for uh, Boost Mode, which is the uh, the designed 4G. Uh, I'll be bringing a, a video. Comparing this phone right here. Hopefully you see it. The 4G for uh, Boost. Um, hopefully, you know. Hopefully y'all tell me all the stuff that I need to know. And what y'all like to hear. And um, just, just, you know, comment. Please rate.
subscribe and, you know, help me out here. Thank you. Bye.